Hey guys, JR here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a product cover or a 3D product cover like this or a back shot like this using Canva. Okay? One of the problems that I had with Canva is that I can't find a specific frame that's going to allow me to create a product mock-up like this because I'm selling, you know, courses. So I want to create a back shot easily inside of Canva, but the problem is that I cannot find a specific frame inside here. There, there are tons of, of frames inside here, but it's not allowing me to create this 3D style back shot like this. And I kind of wanted to, you know, add this as a cover for my product. Okay, so what I did is I dig deeper and look for a solution, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to share that solution right in this video okay i'm super excited about this okay so without further ado let's dive right into it okay the first thing that you need to do guys is go to google and then look for a 3d map app or a back shots okay so you can search on back shot then you can go to images now look for an image or a back shot that you want that you like the most okay so for example i'm gonna be looking for a really simple back shot here For example this one so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna save this into my computer save as image and then uh, make sure that you don't download a webp file so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look for another one so for example this one and make sure that it's png or jpeg format okay so i'm gonna save this into my computer okay and then i'm gonna open up figma if you don't know why figma it's a browser-based web design tool okay you can use any tool that you want you can use photoshop you can use whatever you want but the one that i'm using today is figma because this is the tool that works for me so i'm gonna be using this as a demo so i'm gonna open up the downloaded file so this is a downloaded file here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag that into my design here okay now what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna trace this using a pen tool okay so i can click on pen tool and then i can start you know mapping or tracing this map up or back shot okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click and then i'm gonna start tracing this one all right and then this will be the face of the box so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on done and then i can click on fill so this is now the you know the front view of the box okay and then the next is the side view so this is the side view so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trace this one again pen again i'm gonna zoom this in trace this one here right All right, and then I'm gonna click on done, and then again I'm gonna click on fill. Okay, so now I have this. I can move this image here. Okay, so now I have a box here, a three D box. Okay, so I don't need this one anymore because I've already, you know, traced this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one. Okay, so now I have the three D box here okay so the next step is to convert this into a frame okay so what i can do is i can i remove the stroke i'm gonna remove the stroke here and also this one i'm gonna remove the stroke okay so this is now the the box that i that i want to convert into frame what i'm gonna do now guys is to click on this face of the you know box and then I can convert this into image, okay? And then I'm also gonna click on the second box or a second shape right here, and then I can convert this into an image, okay? So that's pretty much it. And then we can group this together. Right click, highlight all of the shapes, and then group. Okay, so that should be in a group. Now we can export this guys as a PDF format. Okay, so when you click on this PDF format, so it's gonna export it that. So just click on export. So that will be 
download it into your computer. Now all you have to do is to upload this inside of your Canva account. So now upload that here. And then simply click on the uploaded file. Okay. So now we have this frame here. Okay. What we can do is we can change this into anything. It can be a color or this one here. It can be a color as well. Now we can, you know, move this here, something like that. And then we can move this to the center, something like that. And then we can add in whatever elements that we can add. So for example, uh, we go and we can add in social media. Social media. So let's go to graphics and then let's look for social media here. So for example, this one. can add this right here okay and then we can also add any text for example this text here you put in whatever text that you want okay or you can add in an image so this is the image that I have here all right so I'm gonna add this in the side view so I can turn this something like this I can make this bigger Put this here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do now is I can add in also add in the text. So for example, this one here. You can add in your own text, right? Or you can duplicate this one. Turn this. Then we can change the colors. Let's look for a really cool looking good looking colors for example this one now you can add in a subheading here okay just be creative okay and then subheading and then you can also duplicate this one and then you can also add in a, a you know text here you can make this smaller okay so that's pretty much it guys okay all right, and then all you have to do once you're happy with your design, all you have to do, guys, is to uh, save this or download this as a PNG format. And then you can click on transparent background if you have a pro account. So just click on download, and that would be automatically downloaded into your computer. Now, instead of you guys, you know, doing this manually, manually tracing your you know frame inside of figma this will this would take you like hours now i created a done for you solution guys okay uh which is gonna allow you guys to save a lot of time okay so this is that uh done for you map apps right here and you can easily customize this okay you can put your own design here i also added a, a barcode here you can change your own design i'm also included a done for you design that you can customize okay so let me show you uh, all of these designs here okay so this is that one here another one here another one here instagram this one here affiliate apocalypse this one is youtube this one is tiktok uh, kids stories empire canva and then uh, the the map up that i created okay and this other uh, design here okay this one here okay you'll be getting 20 of those done for you designs that i created from scratch and you can easily tweak this inside of your canva account right now again if instead of you going and creating your own back shot okay i created or i listed a i listed this product inside on etsy and you can just purchase this guys for only like ten dollar or twelve dollar and you'll be getting it done for your designs 20 of this uh done for your designs in a back shop in a mac app like this okay you can change the the color of this or you can add in an image for example we can look for an image so for example a you know a car so let's look for a car Let's go to photos here 
and then so for example this one so you can just simply add that here pretty easy right also this one we can add that into the side view okay, so that's basically it i'm gonna leave a link uh, below this video if you wanted to get this done for you template done for you frame and designs again you'll be getting 20 of this designs that you can easily customize inside of your canva account all right guys so that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye love you Bye.